Today we have a GrowWatt uh, inverter here and this one is coming up as you can see on the screen error 117 and you can see the red fault light is on. Now if your inverter is coming up with error 117 then the system is not operational so you want to do something about it to uh, try and get it operational as quickly as possible. Now error 117 with GrowWatt means that there's a the relay failure. There's a, a relay which has failed inside the inverter, so that's why it's uh, it's coming with the fault light. It, if the relay's failed, it's not able to pull in the power that it needs to. So um, we've got a major issue here. Now, uh, one thing I always recommend trying to do if you do have an issue like this is trying to reboot the system. And with that, you always want to make sure you follow the shutdown procedure. Now it's always a turn off the solar supply main switch first or the inverter AC isolator. The solar supply main switch is located in your switchboard. The inverter AC isolator may be uh, located beside your inverter and here it is in this case. So we'll turn that one off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's just over here. We'll just throw that off. And we'll let that system shut down and uh, Try and get it rebooting, so we'll just wait for those the uh, screen to go blank and the light to go off like it just has, and then we'll try and start the system back up. So, with the uh, shutdown procedure, it's very important that you follow the correct procedure. The startup procedure doesn't matter too much at all, so we just uh, need to turn everything back on. So, we turn on the inverter AC isolator and we'll turn back on the PV ray DC isolator and see how, how it goes. You can see uh, it's trying to start up here. So it's going to try and connect in 28 seconds. Now, um, if your inverter was installed within the last five years and it's coming up with this error 117, then it will be covered under warranty. However, GrowWatt have recently changed their warranty conditions, which um, I believe is really ridiculous. And instead of paying someone such as Gold Coast Solar to come and actually fix your inverter or replace your inverter for you under warranty, what they actually do is charge fifty dollars to uh, make a warranty claim, and they don't pay a a company like Gold Coast Solar to come and replace your inverter or anything or anything, and they charge us for freight as well. So you're looking at hundreds of dollars just to get the inverter repaired under warranty, which if it's ridiculous because it didn't seem it wasn't like that earlier in 2015, but now they uh, have made it that way. So you can see this inverter just did count down. It's just at connecting uh, 25 seconds. It, it did count down right to zero and there was a there was a small click if you if you heard that and now it's trying to count down again. So that tells me the relay didn't click in properly and so it's trying to att attempt uh, the relay connection again. And so connecting zero five and we listen carefully, you might hear the relay. So you heard, the, heard that relay trying to click in there, and uh, it hasn't worked though, and so it's trying to count down again. Now if it does this, uh, I think it's about five times or so, and the relay doesn't come in, then the red fault light's going to come on, and it's going to come up with the error 117. So we can tell here that this is a problem with the relay which rebooting the system hasn't uh, fixed at all so it is going to need to be either replaced under warranty uh, if you uh, are willing to deal with the warranty terms or if it's outside of warranty or you don't want to deal with grow what's ridiculous warranty terms the uh, best thing to do would be replace the inverter with a good quality replacement unit with a full warranty which does actually cover any issues like this so if you are trying to get it covered under warranty, a couple of things you will need to know, and that includes the uh, date of original installation of the system and proof of purchase, and also the serial number and model number of the inverter, which we should be able to find on the uh, left-hand side here. There we go. So this is a Grillwood inverter. The model name is the Sun Gold 1500, and the serial number, which is this one down here. So they're very important things to note for any warranty claims. But in this case here, you can see it's attempting to count down yet again. And uh, so this is definitely an issue which will require the inverter to be replaced. So look, if you're 
Grow White Sun Gold Inverter is coming up with an issue like this. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, then Gold Coast Solar can certainly help. So don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks very much for watching this video and I uh, hope it's been helpful.